What up, y'all? This your boy, Jay Smith Fit, back with another thought of the day for you, right? So today's thought of the day is how you do anything is how you do everything, right? So um, I'm going to just give you a little story about myself personally. One day um, I was working out in the gym and I didn't finish my workout. And I said, man, I don't care. You know, I did enough. I don't care. I'm good. And then I started realizing, man, I said that shit a lot. I said that shit about everything. Like, oh, uh, man, I didn't finish cooking this or whatever. You know what I mean? I made everything else, but I don't care. Or I didn't finish that project I was working on. I don't care. I'll do it later. You know, never got done. So I started realizing, man, I say that a lot and I, I had to ask myself, I literally asked myself, what the fuck do I care about? Do I even care about anything? So at that time, I'm not even gonna lie, I had no passion, I had no drive. Um, I didn't, I didn't really care about anything, man. And not, not to say people, but things like things that I would do, um, endeavors or whatever you wanna call it, um, projects working on myself, anything. I So I was like, man, you know, I need to change this. I need to just start finishing everything no matter what. And I'm not going to say I care ever again because that shit is like drinking poison. Every time you self-talk and tell yourself, I don't care, you believe yourself. When you hear that, you keep, you keep hearing it and you start to believe it, right? So, um, yeah, man, it, it was crazy, but I just made it a habit to finish everything. No matter what, no matter if I thought it was insignificant, no matter if I thought that it would really help me, no matter if I thought it might help me, but I don't, I'm indifferent about it. I don't fucking know. You know what I mean? Maybe later on down the road it will, but I just made it a point to never say I don't care again and to finish everything no matter what. So I want you guys to think about that, man. How you do anything is how you do everything, right? How you do one thing is how you do everything. And this is, I like, you know, some people be like, oh man, why are you always speaking like that's a fact? Okay, not, it's not a fact, you know what I mean? It's a generalization. So generally speaking, I should say that, let me be politically correct and you know what I'm saying? But, um, I, that's what I found personally. Um, and I found that with everyone else. So I'm a basketball referee. A lot of people know that. I found that a lot of people that complain when they play basketball to the ref complain in life. You'll see the dude up in there arguing with his girl. And then he arguing on the phone. Then he arguing with his teammates. And I'm like, this dude just, this nigga just argue. Like, he don't, what the fuck? And then I started telling cats that I said, you know what? You probably complain a lot with your girl, huh? You probably complain a lot with your job, huh? You probably complain a lot about life, huh? And they would kind of give me this look like, like, how'd you know? And I'd be like, I, I kind of correlate basketball to life. Sports in general to life, man. You have your ups and your downs. It's never, it's never straight. You know what I'm saying? It's never smooth. It's never a good ride. But um, there's always ups and downs, peaks and valleys, right? But the people who are successful and happy are the people who don't complain. They don't make excuses. They just make adjustments. You know what I mean? Um, and, and you got to realize, man, you're not going to be able to control everything. So just focus on the things that you can, right? So... Once again, it's your boy, J. Smith Fit, back at you with another TOTD thought of the day. How you do anything is how you do everything. If you don't remember anything from this video, remember these three things. One, there's power and persistence. Two, if you're persistent, you'll get it. Three, if you're consistent, you'll keep it. Out.